Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Garage Topics. Today's episode is going to talk about why, in my opinion, the first gen Tundra double cab is better than any Tacoma that's ever been made. So if you've been following the channel, you know I've had this Tacoma for about a year and a half. I had a Tacoma before that that got a frame replaced by a Toyota. And before that, I had a Tacoma that was, the frame was bad and I had to replace it myself. So not a, not a, not my first rodeo with Toyotas. But lately I've been pondering selling this Tacoma. It's a 2015 double cab, uh, long bed. So in my opinion, it's more practical than the short bed Tacomas. It's got a bed cap on it. Um, it's only got 34,000 miles. So why would I think about selling it? Well, I, th I thought, thought to myself, it's a pretty expensive truck for what it is, and they hold the value well, but for what I'm looking to do with the truck, it just doesn't make sense anymore, and I'll show you why. All right, we're in the 2015. Um, they're pretty cramped in here, and for 2015, they are pretty outdated. I've added this Android head unit in here. Um, it's I added heated seats too, but not very updated. 2005 is when they came out, and they really, really didn't change for 10 years, but I bought it, so I knew what I was getting into. The new... Tacomas have an updated interior that look a whole lot nicer, but size-wise they're identical. They're the exact same size on the inside, which biggest beef is this back seat is tiny. You can fit a person back there around town, but long distance, you don't want anyone back there. All right, now we're in, a, this example is a 2005 Toyota Tundra double cab. Um, they made these from, I believe, 03 to 06, or 04 to 06. The 2005 and 2006 is the ones you want. They have a different engine and five-speed transmission, but the double cab on these Tundras um, was quite a big size upgrade. It was both wider and longer than the other Tundras. They came out with the, the second generation Tundra in 2007 and basically a third generation in between that. But basically it's the exact same size Tundra from 2007 to 2020. They haven't changed sizes at all. Um, they have updated interiors, but you've stuck with a double cab, which is a smaller back seat than this double cab, or the crew cab, which is a massive back seat but then you sacrifice bed space. My opinion is this is the best sized Tundra they've ever made. Comparing interiors, this one's cloth almost all of the more. You could get leather in these Tacomas, but this is the back seat room here. My hand fits here. You can sit back here, but it's not the comfiest. Um, cloth interior, no, no rear AC or anything like that. Power windows in the back, the windows do go down. Um, no sunroof. You couldn't get a sunroof in these unless you installed it aftermarket. Um, got some cup holder storage but um somewhat narrow and it's narrow so you can go on trails and stuff like that um versus a big truck if you're not looking to tow anything or move a lot of people they're, they're a pretty good truck um it's mainly because they're so reliable and hold their value this is the inside of the double cab tundra the first gen this seats back pretty far and i got two or three hand rooms here um the truck is wider than the tacoma um, this is a leather example. They did make cloth as well. Um, you've got rear AC in the back, which is pretty neat. Got cup holders back here. Center console is a little funky, but other than that, this is 10 years older than that, my, my Tacoma, but as far as the interior goes, it's not that outdated. Besides the wood, the only dated thing in here is the stereo, and since it's a double din size, it's super easy to replace, but other than that, this, this is a limited edition, so what that gets you is heated seats, leather seats um even the cloth versions had this like captain's armrest thing the thing i like with the double cab limited tundras is it has a sunroof that is massive it is huge in here and i've got a really th one thing that combines this and what makes me like this tundra a whole lot by pressing just a few buttons both power windows rear power windows they all fully open and then with the sunroof it'll do it itself with a one touch but the sunroof fully opens but all the tundras no matter what trim you get with the double cab for the first gens rear window goes down as well which is super rad to me this is the closest thing you can get to having a convertible truck um dare i say this is better than a jeep gladiator those things start at 60 grand and can do basically this i guess this patch of roof here would be open as well but this is a heck of a lot better deal than one of those, in my opinion. Look at this, this is freaking rad. This is dope. We got the engines exposed, let's talk about these. Second gen Tacomas had either four liter V6, you'd get a four cylinder, I think it's a 2.7 in it. For the four door, four wheel drive, they're pretty gutless. Um, 
for the third gens, I think they have a 3.5 in them. Um, I've test driven the third gen Tacomas. That's a whole nother video topic, but I personally could not stand how they drove. So before I bought this, I drove a bunch of new Tacomas and the torque on those is a lot is up high in the RPM range. It's not down low. So when you need grunt, like getting a trailer going, wasn't there. And the transmission was really finicky too. That's a whole nother video topic. I, I personally would never drive one of those. It drove like a car. But if you're looking for a car, it's good. But these are the best Tacomas in my opinion, um, as far as what they are. These double cab Tundras, uh, this thing's been detailed recently. These only came with the 4.8 in them. Uh, sorry, the 4.7 V8. The 04s didn't have variable valve timing. These 05, 06 variable valve timing V8s came with 271 horsepower and 313 foot-pounds of torque, which is quite a lot. This 4 liter V8 has 236 horsepower and 266 foot-pounds feet of torque. Um, like I said, these 4 liter V6s, the torque comes in really low. I recommend them. If you have to get a Tacoma, get a 4 liter. Um, so this one definitely has more horsepower. Let's take a look at the numbers exactly. It's got roughly 40 more horsepower and 50 more foot, foot, foot pounds of torque. This does weigh more. It weighs probably seven, 800 pounds more than the Tacoma. But let's take a look at the size of these to compare the two. Looking at them in front, you can tell that the Tacoma is narrower than the Tundra is. Um, it's also sits taller too. There's a stock suspension on both of these. Let's take a look at the length too. So the bumpers on these are pretty Pretty even this was a little bit further out like an inch or so, but let's compare it to the side here And this is against a Tacoma double uh, cab long bed. So just a little bit longer um, This has got a over six foot bed. So does that one? Um, but this is noticeably is more wider the longer room is all in the cab, basically, which I think matters. Looking from the back, too, you can tell the Tundra is wider than the Tacoma. I've got the bed cap on here. The beds themselves are almost the same length. The Tundra might have an inch or two on it, but because of how wide it is, you get so much more usable space in here. Not to mention, this bed is metal, and this one's been Linex, so these can take a beating and take a bigger payload than this bed can because it is just plastic in here. Um, it serves its purpose, but if you're trying to do some heavy-duty work, you definitely want a metal bed. Miles per gallon, so this 4-liter V6 double cab long bed four-wheel drive with my cap on, I, I drive it pretty conservatively. I'm lucky if I'm getting like 16 and a half on average, so 16.5, um, it's not terrible, but it's not good either. With this double cab Tundra, I've read that people get about 16 miles per gallon in this with a bigger engine and a bigger truck. So that's not too bad. If you look at the numbers of just miles per gallon from the EPA or whatever, I think this gets like one to two less, both city and highway. But real world, I think these get about the same as a Tacoma. If you've got the stock wheels and tires on these, those miles per gallon numbers are pretty real. So why am I making a video like this? Because I thought long and hard about it. I'm looking to do more towing. I don't go off road that much. And I wanted something just a little bit bigger, honestly. Um, and another caveat, these Tundras, they're 10 years older, but they are, obviously because of that, they're a lot cheaper than Tacomas. So, this is actually mine. I own this, and this is going to be sold here shortly. So, I'm sad to see it go, because it's been a good truck for me. It's not, it better be, it's only got 34,000 miles. This Tundra only has 98,000 miles. Um, it's in incredible shape. I'm going to do a video about what to look out for in these trucks. Mainly rust, but... Um, I think this truck is going to suit my needs a whole lot better than the Como does. You really need to weigh out the pros and cons yourself, what you're looking to do. I don't think these Tundras are really good at anything as far as excels. They're good, they're good well-rounded truck, I believe. The size of them to me is perfect. They don't make a truck this size anymore. They're either way too big or not big enough for the Tacoma. The new Tundras are massive. Uh, I really, really appreciate the size of this thing. And it's got some cool features too. Uh, but. I mean, cosmetically, Tacoma looks cooler in stock fashion, but these can look pretty dang cool if you make do a couple modifications as well. So if you're looking to tow, looking to fit people in your truck, um, looking to not spend a bunch of money, these Tundras, in my opinion, are a way better deal than a Tacoma. Um, obviously, the new ones are a little bit nicer than new Tacomas, I should say, but they don't drive that well, in my opinion. Um, if you can, test drive one of these and test drive a uh, new Tacoma. 
these things have a reputation of being extremely reliable. Um, so that's the gamble I'm willing to take to try and get an older one for something that's this size. You, like I said, you can't buy a truck this size anymore. So I'm pretty happy. i am got to do some more driving with it, but so far, so good. So this is my fourth Torito. Hopefully, I actually keep this Tundra for a while because I've got a bad problem with switching cars out. But I feel pretty good about the decision here. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me know in the comments if you think my point of view is correct or not. Let me know your experiences with the Tundra or the Tacoma, what you like. And I kind of just wanted to be this more informative. So if you're thinking about getting a Toyota truck because of its reliability, you'd be a fool not to think about the first gen double cabs. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Let your brothers know about it and don't make your dog sit in the back seat without wearing a seatbelt. Peace out. All right. Well, there's a fly in here. Damn it. We gotta get this fly out.